so today it's going to be all about the professional series on what to do before an interview so if you're new to the channel hi I'm Mosai and we're going to dive into the video to new subscribers thank you so much for joining me and we're going Don't to get to like to share video. and subscribe subscribe to the channel down below share the video with your friends and family if it's useful for anybody who is now coming onto the job market or even for students who are not um, keep and looking for employment or you're just looking for something new to do this is the video for you so we're gonna get straight into the video now the first things you should do um, before your interview so this is like a few days or a few weeks before your interview your companies usually contact you and like give you a deed for when they're going to have the interviews now the first thing you should do as an interviewee is research the company so it's so important to get some history of the organization that you've applied for employment um, I would advise that you look at their mission and their vision statements as well as their strategic plan. I'm not telling you to go into full detail into their strategic plan but to have an overview of exactly the plan the company has for their future because their strategic plan gives an insight for the next five ten years of what the company plans on doing and it's so good to go into an interview having that knowledge on the organization that you wish to be an employee of. The second thing is understanding the salary range and the compensation package for which you the position you have applied for now it's really great it's really nice applying for a job it's it looks spectacular it looks like something that you can do it's out of the box but then lo and behold the compensation package something that you know you're cheating yourself on so so you've applied for this post you're, you're currently being paid thirteen thousand dollars and um, you apply for this position it has so much that you can grow from at least you think so however when you look at the compensation package it's 13.5 now you're cheating yourself because you have to be able to value your skill and competencies and put a price range on that on on those skills and competency because you would have made a sacrifice either through your education through skills um, your degrees your masters you do not want to cheat yourself by applying for a position that is not paying too well unless that is what you're looking for and you just want to build your your curriculum vital your CV and you're trying to build your skills and competencies so you don't mind taking a lesser paying job just to open up yourself to the opportunities that the, that that current job entails so if that is something that you're looking at then the salary will not be a problem but if you're looking at not just growing your skills and competencies but as well as having a, a really good compensation for the work that you would have put in over the years at your previous employment as well as the sacrifices that you would have made for your education no I would advise you get some details on the compensation package the third would be to know what you are bringing to the table going back to your skills and competencies you have to know what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses so you have to do like a SWOT analysis on yourself so a SWOT analysis identifies your strengths and your weaknesses now you should know okay I'm competent I'm a, a, a good public speaker I'm great organizational skills I have great leadership skills those are what you're going to use as your thresholds in your interview so you're going to use this to propel the interview you're going to highlight those competencies and really expand on it in the, interview. the fourth would be to prepare for the interview preparing for the interview would entail I would advise practicing with friends and family so you sit usually interviews have a panel of persons so it would be the HR person the if there's a union they may have a union rep and they may also be other persons the head of the department the administrative assistant or the office manager those type of persons will be on the interview panel so my advice is that you get your friends and your family have them ask you prepare a list of questions and have them ask you these questions for you know possible questions that would be asked in an interview and see how you perform practice 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 now the fourth would be 
prepare examples of your accomplishments. So you you have applied for this position, and you believe you are the best suitable candidate. Why are you the best suitable candidate? You have to have examples of major accomplishments that you would have achieved at your previous jobs, not just goals, but goals that were implemented by your organization that they are currently using that alleviated some sort of challenges that the organization may have had. So you implemented a new filing system that they're currently using or you reorganized the office in a way that it, it's more manageable for persons coming in and out of it or contributed to the strategic plan and objectives to, the, to that organization or you've implemented a, a marketing strategy that can bring in more funding for the organization. Those are the type of accomplishments that you need to highlight. Now these five examples can be used along with many more. I'm quite sure there are a lot more examples that you can find on YouTube, YouTube or the internet. But these are the five examples that I've, I have for you today that can be used to assist you before your interview. And just remember to relax, gather your thoughts and don't be nervous. Change is inevitable and you have decided to make this change for your future. So go into that interview with the fullest confidence that that job is yours and you can achieve anything through Jesus Christ. Have a blessed night.